happy Sunday. Yeah. Can I say happy Sunday? Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. You're kind of in the video, Legend. You can scoot over if you want to. What's up, you guys? It is a Sunday night. We are here. Thank you. Water. What are you, what are you doing? Holding. No, it's fine. It'll be fine. It was fine how I had it. Thank you. Very much so. Um, it is beautiful. I am out on the porch where we just got done um, jumping. The boys were riding their bikes, jumping, and uh, we were playing some street football. Hi, you guys. Hello, everybody. Hi, best friend. Hi, you guys. Hi, family. Oh, my gosh. Oh, anyways, we, um, hey, how's it going, Rhett? Good. <laughs> Hello, Hannah Hunt. What's up? Hello, you guys. Anyways, if you're new here, my name is Tia B. Stokes. I'm a mother of five, Major Mays, Major Legend Mays, Taz and Rose. I'm married to the handsome Andrew Stokes and uh, um, 814 days, I think it's been 114 days. Um, I was diagnosed with acute myeloid leukemia. Uh, I started documenting going live every single night in the hospital uh, when I was in 2020. So if you're new here and you're like, what's going on? What's happening? What is this chick? Um, I used to go live every single night in the hospital because that was my way to let my family know, everyone know how I was doing. I was by myself, so, and it was a good way for me to document my journey, my journey on what was going on during my cancer journey. So it gave me some motivation. It was awesome. And, um, so now I go live just a couple times a week. Um, and then I put out some little vlogs here and there. We started a Tia B show. Anyways, now it's just so fun. We just have a fun time. But, um, you guys, it makes me sad. We just got home from our trip from Cedar. So, Andy was in, was at football in Cedar City, um, for the last week. And then I had, a, I went and spoke at a girls camp on Saturday, or no Friday. And so we kind of just decided to make it like a family little trip last minute. Um, I took the kids with me down there and then we just met Andy down there and had a little family getaway. And it was so fun. We ended up staying at the lake that we found this little cute lake at the, in Cedar City. I think it's called Lake on the Hill in Cedar. Um, so Lake on the Hill, if you're ever in Cedar City, that's what, I think that's what it's called. But so fun. We fished, the kids went fishing, we swam, we jumped off the dock. We just had so much fun. It was just good to be together, making memories, having a good time. So, um, but I'm doing good. Uh, I feel really good, you guys. I think the last time I kind of gave a health update, I was kind of scared about my bruising. And I don't know. Let's see how my bruising. My bruising. It's right there. It's doing a lot better. So. I feel like. Um, I have. Like, I'm not as worried. When I came home from St. George that last time, I was just so sick. I had, I think, heat exhaustion, and I just, my body was just not used to everything. So, um, but I feel good, you guys. I feel really good. I feel really good. Like, I'm so grateful that I am where I am today. Kelsey sent me a video that was her and my kids two years ago. Two years ago today, I was in the hospital 
and Kelsey had just barely started working for me as a nanny, full-time nanny, because I was in the hospital, Andy was working, um, coaching football, and so he needed help with our five kids. And so this is when Kelsey started helping us. And the reason for her job back then was to basically help my kids stay happy. That's what I told her, I was like, I just obviously like we need help with our kids because Andy is working. He's, you know, we need someone to be with our kids then, but um, we need to like, I want my kids to have fun. Like I don't want them to remember, oh my gosh, that was such a torturous, is that a word? <laughs> you know, torturous time because our mom was sick in the hospital and like we were left alone all the time or was miserable. Like I want them to have memories. I want them to have fun. I want them to go out and do things. Like I'm a very active mom. I like to go out and do things with my kids and my family. So that's like what her job was, was just to have fun with my kids, do different activities, keep them busy while I was in the hospital. So, whoa, good job. No, I'm good. No, thank you. But does Legend, maybe Legend has, or Taz, did Major? You might want to ask them. So, um, yeah, I just, this time, just kind of really, this day, today, just kind of really brought back like a flood of emotions and like what it was two years ago. Two years ago doesn't seem like a long time ago, does it? Like it doesn't seem, does it seem like a long time ago, two years ago? No, I don't feel like two years ago was that long ago, but it feels like so much has happened in the two years. You know what I'm saying? By the way, this is sparkling water. It's the only way I can drink water is if it's sparkling <laughs> because otherwise water makes me throw up. Thank you, chemo. <laughs> um, Oh, so Tasia said, I always go back and watch the lives. Oh, she watch, you watch these lives, got it. But, so I feel like this summer, we've just been trying to make lots of memories with our kids. We've been, you know, it's kind of like our first summer that we've really had, because last summer I was still receiving transfusions. I was still, I was still in and out of the hospital hospital I mean I was in the hospital in December so I feel like this is like our first summer that we've like actually got to enjoy and go and do stuff so we've done so much we went to Hawaii we've been to St. George for a while um I mean I guess we haven't done that much but <laughs> we went swimming a lot to me it's been a lot <laughs> because the last couple summers have been nothing <laughs> in the hospital a lot so we've just been trying to make it a goal to make as many memories oh wow ranch on top of <laughs> did you ask legend if you wanted any before you did that legend, you okay. okay okay um but we've just been trying to make a lot of memories because I feel like we've just missed out. I feel like I've missed out on so much in the last two years. And it's sad because it's coming to an end. The summer's coming to an end. Uh, I'm sad. I don't want summer to end. I love having my kids home. I love hanging out with my kids. Call me crazy, but I love, I, I love the crazy, huh? We love the playtime. Yeah, we do. So I'm sad because it's coming to an end. Yes, I went to Vegas. We went and saw Colleen's show. We went to um, Hawaii. No, we, we went to Disneyland in January for my birthday. So we haven't been, I mean, we did go this year, but that was in January. Or it wasn't in January because I got sick. I had COVID, remember? Ooh. So we actually did go to, I think we ended up going in March, I think it was, Disneyland. So it was kind of summery. But yeah, it's coming to an end. So I don't know. I'm sad. I'm sad girl. Sad girl because 
I love, I love hanging out with my kids. <laughs> Even though they're crazy, they're crazy, but it's a good crazy. It's a good crazy. Um, someone today actually told me, they said that my face, I don't know. You guys tell me what you think. Like, does my face look different from being on prednisone? Does it? Because I, I don't see, I, I look at myself every day, so it's hard to see the difference, you know, but, um, someone had mentioned that today in my Instagram stories, like, wow, your face looks different from being on prednisone. <laughs> and it was, it was a good thing. It was a good thing they were saying, but I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy. Maybe I just don't see it, but anyways, I'm sad. Summer's coming to an end. And we're going to try to, me and Andy are going to New York next week. We're going down for, or going up sideways somewhere for an event um, that I got asked to come and be a part of. So I'm excited about that. Um, and then, let's see, what else do we have this summer? Then we're going to go to St. George. Okay. We're gonna go to St. George one more time for a studio event for National Dance Day at the end of this month. So we have that. And then I think that's pretty much it. Then school's gonna start and football games are gonna start. We're gonna be in full mode swing of back to schedules and life and all the things. So sad it's coming to an end, but. And then can I tell you another joke, mom? but we're excited for what lies ahead. Yeah, you wanna tell us a joke? Okay, yeah. Taz wants to tell a joke. Okay, Taz. Why did the chicken cross the road? Why did the chicken cross the road? Why, guys, why did the, wait, hold on, let them answer, okay? Why did the chicken cross the road? Why? Why? Because was trying to get to Molly's house. <laughs> Because it was trying to get to Molly's house. Who's Molly? A chicken. Oh, that was good, Taz. I'm going to tell another one. Okay, another joke from Taz. Why did the whale cross the road? Why did the whale cross the road? Why, buddy? Because someone stepped on its eye. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Can I tell a joke? Good job, Taz. Oh my gosh, yes. Okay. Maze has jokes. Why did the octopus have a. Uh, Wrinkles. Uh, no, 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 no. Why did the octopus have too. seven tentacles? Why did the octopus have seven tentacles? Hmm. Why? Why? Because it slurped up its other one. Because it slurped up its other one. <gasps> that was good. You guys, these jokes come especially, like, first thought, Mom, to, first mind to tell a joke again. from these guys. From Taz and Maze's minds. I want to tell another joke. Okay, go ahead. Why the, um, why did the chicken have so much wrinkles? Why did the chicken have so much wrinkles? Because it was dumb. Oh. <laughs> what? You guys are so funny. Hilarious. Right, guys? Smash that like button for these guys. Anyways, um, my kids are freaking awesome. They're so much fun. But, yes, it's coming to an end. You guys, July is halfway point sad. We have a couple things left, but it's been fun making memories and being able to do something this summer. I've been able to actually travel and been able to actually go places. You guys, this is honestly, don't take it for granted. Like, don't take these moments for granted. Like everything that you get in your life, every time, every moment, every chance you get to be active with your kids or with your loved ones or with your family members, like... I can't stress, like, just don't take it for granted because honestly, my life was changed like that. <laughs> and I hope I never forget that. Like, I hope I always have that reminder of what I went through and what happened to me 
and the perspective that it gave me to just enjoy every moment and don't sweat the small things. Don't sweat the small things. Enjoy life because these kids, they grow up too fast. Huh? Mm -hmm. Too fast. So even if you're tired and your kids want you to go and play a game or something, try to muster up the energy to just roll over and play the game or high five them. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Anyways, I love you guys. Thanks for being here. I know you guys could be anywhere else, but you're here watching this, my video and my channel. I'm grateful for all of you. Grateful for all the prayers. We do have new merch coming soon. I've been working on some fun teas. So get excited, get hyped up. Um, I'm excited. There is a limited amount uh, because I got them for my team as well. So um, be on the lookout. It's going to be awesome. But I love you guys and I'm grateful for every single one of you. Seriously. Grateful. My life has been blessed because I know you. All right. With that, I will leave you guys with a word of prayer. Uh-oh. What are you doing? Okay. Our dear, kind, gracious Heavenly Father, we're grateful for this beautiful night. We're grateful for all that we have. We're grateful for our many blessings. We're grateful for our health and strength and for the opportunities that we've had to be able to go through things and grow and strengthen our, our relationships with Thee and help us that we can be able to be better and be bring positivity and light everywhere we go. Please help us to spread joy and sunshine and be able to bring happiness to those that need it and bless the poor and the sick, bless those that are in need at this time that are fighting. Bless Jojo as she's going through her surgery this week that she can be able to feel comforted and that the Lord's will will be done and that bless Ridge with his um, with his trial that we can receive miracles and we may be able to reach the right people to be able to help him to be able to come home. Bless anyone else that's out there that needs thy love and help and support. We say these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen, you guys. Aloha means hello. Goodbye, and I love you. Good night.